Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should stay well away from Buckingham Palace's balcony during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations next year, the results of a new Express.co.uk poll have indicated. Earlier this week, the Queen announced exciting plans to mark her 70th year on the throne next year, including a four-day bank holiday weekend. There is also expected to be the return of the annual Drooping the Colour event, which has been affected by the COVID pandemic over the last couple of years. The news sparked speculation over whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be invited to the event, as they have stood with other royal family members to wave at the crowds and watch the RAF fly past in previous years. However, their invitation may be in jeopardy after the couple dramatically quit the firm last year. Express.co.uk readers were asked between 10.04 a.m. yesterday and 7.45 a.m. today whether Meghan and Harry should be banned from balcony for Queen's Jubilee. Out of the 12,021 people who voted, 10,901 90%, said yes. Only 1,047 voters, 10%, wanted Meghan and Harry at the event. And 73 people, 0%, were not sure. Readers were also quick to share their fury over the prospect of Harry and Meghan joining other royals on the balcony. One person angrily said, the Queen's Jubilee celebration is a state event not a private family event. Similarly they must not be allowed to be involved or seen at any state event. Another added, the Queen gets my respect if she deals with them as not a granny would but as the head of her country should. Another person felt strongly about public backlash being sparked if the pair were seen on the balcony. They said, only if they realize that there will be a public reaction to them being there and it will overshadow the celebration and the backlash will be massive. If they have any sense they will stay well away. And a fourth reader simply wrote, yes. Ban them. It comes after an insider told the mail, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been invited and I'm sure the Queen is very much looking forward to seeing them there. The balcony moment will be decided much nearer the time but there's a limit to how many family members should be on it. I would have thought that working royals who contribute to the family would be higher on the list than the Sussexes. Meghan and Harry announced last year they were stepping down as senior royals to seek financial independence in the U.S. They have since succeeded after they signed multi-million pound deals with Netflix and Spotify. But they also plunged the royals into crisis this year when they gave a shocking interview with U.S. chat show host Oprah Winfrey, where Harry said he felt trapped as a royal and Meghan spoke of feeling suicidal. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee is set to be celebrated over a four-day bank holiday weekend next year, which will take place from June 2 to 5. On Monday, the palace released the full program ahead of the celebrations. It include parades, concerts, and a bank holiday. It is not clear which events Her Majesty will attend following orders to rest by doctors last year. Celebrations are set to kick off on January 10 with the Platinum Pudding Competition. Run by Fortnum and Mason. It seeks to find a dish which can be dedicated to the Queen's historic milestone. Recipes will be judged by an expert panel, including Dame Mary Berry. The Queen's Green Canopy Initiative will continue to plant new trees to present to her at the end of the year. From May 12 to 15, more than 500 horses and 1,000 performers are expected to take part in a show in the grounds of Windsor Castle. This will take the audience through royal history, from Elizabeth I to the present day. The rest of the celebrations are expected to take place later in the year. June 2 will mark the first day of the special four-day bank holiday when the Queen's Birthday Parade, also known as Trooping the Colour, takes place in Horse Guards Parade. On the same day, the UK, Channel Islands, Isle of Man and UK Overseas Territories will come together to light a beacon. The beacon will be lit at the same time as the principal beacon at Buckingham Palace. On June 3, a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's reign will be held at St Paul's Cathedral ahead of the star-studded Platinum Party at the Palace on Saturday, June 4. The party is expected to bring together some of the world's biggest names in entertainment. On June 5, street parties are being planned across the UK, with neighbours expected to join together for food and fun to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. It will mark the end of the bank holiday. Adrian Evans, the pageant master, revealed there will be a special tribute to the Queen and her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip died in April 2021 aged 99. Throughout the celebrations, some of the Queen's estates, including Sandringham and Balmoral, will be open for residents and visitors to enjoy. Performers, dancers, musicians, military personnel, key workers and volunteers will tell the story of the Queen's reign in the Platinum Jubilee pageant.